look at one of these aluminum boats, I don't care who you are, you cannot deny how badass these things are. To see a sheet of aluminum come off the truck and to see a limited production wakeboard boat come out the other end of the building is probably one of the most satisfying things you can have in a career. There's been more thought put into these boats, the engineering, the purpose of what the boat is for, everything, every bit of it is thought out. There are so many hours that go into designing a boat like the AL Series. The lead designer of the 2019 AL Series is Daryl Martin. Nobody has designed more aluminum V-Drive wakeboarding boats than Daryl. And this guy knows his stuff. From the equipment that he uses, to the time he puts into these boats, and it shows on the water. I mean, they're like sports cars, and they perform better than anything else out there, or we would change it. My name is Daryl Martin. I'm the lead product development engineer for Avati Wake. I've been an engineer for 25 plus years. There's easily tens of thousands of hours into the ALO series and that's just the whole alone. One of the hardest things about designing the ALO series boats is this has never been done before. So we had to invent new modeling practices and new operating procedures we had to use the most advanced software available. We also have a naval architect that we use and the most advanced motion flow analysis software that you can get. Over the many years I've been here, I've seen Pavati evolve from the first wakeboarding boat, which changed the industry, to the new AL series, which is an industry leader. Everybody's following us now. My name is Jeff Mahaffey, I've been a Pavati owner for four years, I have owned a 2015 AL24 and then now I own my custom 2018 AL26. The biggest difference about a Pavati, hands down, the customization you can do with your boat, number one from building it to designing it, and two is the fit and finish is bar none. You cannot match it with any other boat company. I've owned the other boats, the other big brand boats and everything like that, and they're fit and finish. It's, to put it nicely, it's garbage. You're constantly having to work on the boat to keep things tight. You hear rattling when you go over waves, everything like that. Since this boat's fully welded and fully aluminum, you don't hear any rattle. The tower doesn't shake, and the craftsmanship is just above and beyond, and it's just a badass boat. The wave on this new 26 is it's bonkers. I mean, it's such a versatile wave from making it short and steep to uh, making it nice and long for the kids and everything like that. And that's just on the stock ballast. Um, half the time when we have new surfers or kids or anything like that, we don't even fill the ballast up all the way. We uh, keep the wave a little bit smaller. And then once all the adults are on board and we fill the ballast up, we just go rip, man. None of us are pros by any means, but I like a nice boat that puts out a monster wave and nothing compares to this 26 for sure. Price. Probably the number one thing that comes up with Pavati. The real deal is, is you don't know until you own one. They're worth every penny. The fact that you get to customize this boat from every stitch to the paint to the graphics, I mean, absolutely everything, it's at your fingertips. You make this boat exactly the way you want. That's what I did. I'm, I'm absolutely in love with this boat. 
Pavati is almost like a family. They don't pump out mass amounts of boats and they care about each one of their customers. That right there is worth the price it takes to get one of these boats. If you need absolutely anything, you can call on a weekend, you can call on a holiday, it does not matter. You're gonna get somebody directly from Pavati that knows what they're talking about if you need assistance. It's absolutely a one of a kind, unique experience to own one of these boats and that's worth every penny right there. My biggest thing is they can do absolutely anything that you can put your mind to and make that boat fully custom for you. Uh, my boating experience would not be the same if I went back to a big brand boat and I just won't do it. So it's one of those things where once you've experienced it, you can't unexperience it. I will absolutely never own another boat brand. Until Pavati came around, no one had built a V-drive aluminum boat. So we're kind of reinventing the wheel when it comes to the construction. So we've enlisted the best boat builders in the world when it comes to aluminum boat builders. We found Mike a few years ago, and I mean, this guy's built every kind of government boat you can think of. I mean, just from the, this guy really knows what he's doing. And, and we are so proud to have him on the team. It really shows, you look at the welds that him and his team are putting together. I mean, from the top to the bottom, I mean, these things are just hand-built pieces of art. My name is Mike Roseboro and I've been building boats for over 30 years. The boats I've built in the past have been a matter of cutting parts till they fit the boat and then welding them in place. Here, the engineering has produced a product where you grab the part and it is engineered to fit the boat. You simply put it in place and weld it. And the integrity is just in the unity of all the parts together. So take notice of uh, fiberglass boats that may be 20 or 30 years old or something from the 70s as it sits on the trailer because it's no longer worthy to be on the water. These aluminum boats will never do that. They're gonna outlast any of us that are here now, any of us that have made these boats, um, any customers that pick them up. Um, they're gonna enjoy them for a lifetime. The durability of aluminum in and of itself, there's no need for uh, annual maintenance of polishing the surface to keep it from eroding. Um, there's no need for re-welding cracks as they, you know, you beach on the rocks, you pull off and you go back out to the lake, no problem. Uh, the durability is just unmatched in any fiberglass comparison. When it comes to the finishes that are on the body boat, it's aluminum hull, it's aluminum construction, so it's a lot different than a fiberglass boat that has a gel coat. If you're not familiar with gel coats, they're fairly soft, they require a lot of maintenance, they oxidize, so you gotta buff them out every year. It's messy stuff. We use nothing but automotive, bad of the bone paint, the best stuff we can get. We're not paint experts, so we have gotten with the best guys in the industry. We use Tony over Extreme Paint. He paints all our boats. Tony is just unbelievable. He's really our custom built boats with custom finishes. They're like show cars. Hi, I'm Tony Lalo. I'm the owner of Extreme Collision and Paint. I've been painting for about 25 years. Because of our quality and procedures, we're the only shop authorized to paint new Pavati wake boats. This partnership with Pavati is one of those relationships that not very many people can say that they have. Pavati puts out the world's nicest wake boat. When Pavati approached us to do their paintwork, 
I knew they expect and demand the highest of quality. That's why I entrusted the help from PPG Industries to help develop the process that we use to coat these boats. Each one of these boats at each stage is very time consuming. We could spend up to 300 hours just on one of these boats, depending on the paint scheme. When it comes to the upholstery in the AL series, you have to see it in person, you really do. You pick every color right down to your stitching. Every pattern, every piece is cut by hand. It's sewn by hand by master upholsters. And we use the best quality vinyl, the best quality foam. Do not cut corners anywhere. And the finished product really shows. We put a better warranty on it than everybody else. Pictures and videos, they do not do it justice. I mean, the quality of people that we have working on these things, the amount of time that we put into this, it's really is unbelievable. The 2019 AL Series Stereo is almost hard to explain. It has so much power, but sounds so crystal clear. We've partnered with Wet Sounds for a reason. In the marine audio world, everybody knows who Ben is. He personally came in and tuned these boats. He's tuned in the AL24 and the AL26. We gave him a blank check, give us the best possible stereo you can, and it shows. My name is Ben Lazardo. I am the director of OEM sales with Wet Sounds. Since the inception of Pavati, Pavati has been working with Wet Sounds because we're the best. Wet Sounds is the best marine audio product on the market because it was the only company and first company to be a marine audio only company. We weren't a car audio company that back in the day put a white speaker grill and called it a marine speaker. Everything that we build from the ground up is all built for the marine environment and for the marine listening type situation. Wet Sounds and Pavati is a great partnership because we're both over the top. You know, everything that we do is to the next level and I feel Pavati has that same mentality. You know, making sure that things are overbuilt and they over deliver to every single customer. That's the same thing Wet Sounds does on both our OEM customers, our aftermarket customers, all the way to our ownership, the guys that are using and abusing all of our product. We want to make sure it lasts them the lifetime and doesn't give them any headaches on the water. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoy working about Pavati is just about every single one of their boats is customized. You know, their customers are able to pick and choose each individual feature, color, item that's going to happen about that boat. And that's a little bit more of my background is customizing the boats and the audio systems. So it brings me back to some of my earlier years in the marine audio is kind of what they're doing with their boats is making sure that the, the customers are getting exactly what they want every single time. When it comes to the technology that's inside the AL series, we spared no expense, we went straight to the top, and we have partnered with Garmin. The screens that we're using in these boats is the same technology that they're using in the new Cessna airplanes. We've asked Garmin to come in and help us design the helm and all the electronics behind this boat, and they came through in a big way. We've been using these screens for almost 10 years now and have not had one warranty issue. My name is John Josephson. I'm the regional sales manager for Garmin uh, here in the Northwest. I mean, one of the kind of cool things I think for this relationship with Garmin and Pavati is that we have grown together with integrating more and more feature sets. When Chuck and I just got together, right, and started talking about the different things that we could do and what he wanted to do with Pavati, we had a bunch of different ideas. I mean, there was a lot of bunch of different ideas and Garmin was just getting started in integrating devices. And we started to talk about all these different things to do. And as we started to grow the relationship, we started adding more and more feature sets, adding the lighting controls. That was one of the first things we did is we brought on the lighting control of the digital switching. And so we could turn on the lights, turn on the boat, turn on all the guys stuff from the Garmin screen. So, which was, which was a new thing, right? It was actually new at the time. It was um, something that we were doing in other markets with different types of boats, but it was a new feature set in the, in the wake boat company. And then as we went along, we started adding 
the cameras, right? I mean, we were one of the first ones to put an actual camera on a boat that you could control from the screen, right? You could turn it on and off, you would get that key metrics data overlays. So it's nice to see that we've been adding these feature sets together, right? That working through the problems of what customers' needs were, you know, and we, you now with the fact that Garmin has purchased Fusion uh, in the last couple of years, which is a marine stereo company, we're now integrating all that into the system. So we have, you know, the full control over the stereo and all that kind of stuff from the Garmin 17 inch screen. And you can control it from an app, which is pretty dang cool. You know, we've added wearables, watches and things like that to our product line. And there's a lot of things you can do. You can control the stereo from your watch if you wanted to. You you can control the verb camera from your watches. Kind of great things we did, which kind of I think took the wake boat market by surprise when we added a speed display to the back of a boat, right? And that came from Chuck and I having a sit down talk at a show just talking about stuff and doing something that was kind of crazy, right? And we said, oh, let's, let's put a screen back there. And it's like, oh, that's no big deal. I mean, that screen is a common screen for us in other boat markets. It's not really that big of a deal, but in this market, it was like, oh, wow, nobody's ever done that before. And so I think having that relationship with the body has been a great thing, right? Because we've grown together, you know, in the last, oh, what has it been, seven or eight years, right, that we've been working together. It's been a really good relationship. Hi everyone, I'm John Ackerman, professional wake surfer. I'm on a Pavati AL26. What can I say about this amazing beast? This boat displaces so much water, it's insane. Riding behind it's just something that I've kind of never experienced before. Super intense wave behind this boat. The power is something that I've never really felt before. From doing bottom turns, all the power is there to the side of the boat even. Staying in the wave from the back, pumping into the section is no problem. And what can I say about the vert on this wave? I was launching crazy airs. You know, even overspinning my 360 shove it into a 540 when I didn't even try. I mean, it's all there, super smooth wave. I was really impressed on how this AL26 surf. This is the biggest, baddest boat. You throw the biggest, baddest tricks, and that's what it's all about. And uh, I'm ready to get back out there and surf it right now, actually. <laughs>